in an unprecedented move, Chairman Ben Bernanke sitting down for a town meeting with Jim Lehrer over the weekend, the Fed chief taking his case directly to the American public. And today's call of the wild, is this a bid for transparency or just a bid to save his job? I don't like that. Let's bring in Steve Leisman, CNBC senior economics reporter, also Mark Calabria, Cato director. Um, Let's see. Uh, Cato Director of Financial Regulation Studies. Mark, um, you say that this is strictly a charm offensive. Why are you so jaded about this? I mean, he went on 60 Minutes. The market bottomed right after that. He totally repaired his image. Everyone's on his side. Why are you so jaded? I'm not sure that I think everybody's on his side, but then again, uh, I don't have a problem being a contrarian. I'm just trying to look at what I think the facts are in terms of decision making he's made in the past. Uh, and number one, I look at the role he played as a governor even before he was chair in sort of, you know, being a cheerleader for having prices, having uh, interest rates as low as they were for so long. We had three years of negative real interest rates. Uh, and I have yet to ever hear Bernanke or anybody else at the Fed say that, hey, maybe that contributed to the housing bubble. Yeah, I mean, Mark, so, he and, was, Mark, and, and truth, I think it's a great point. Uh, he was Greenspan's co-pilot in bubbling up the money supply and housing and commodities. But Steve Leisman, I want to go back to this very interesting uh, Jim Lehrer interview and all the other public stuff. I personally, even though I agree with some of Mark's stuff, I got to give Bernanke enormous credit for talking to the public. I think the Fed should have done this 25 years ago. And I'd like to see him do even more, like hold news conferences after the FOMC meeting. Yeah, you know, Larry, look, the nation is still standing. The Fed is still there. Uh, you know, there was this great fear inside the Fed for a long time. What about the risks of this? Um, and I think it's turned out to be nothing. You know, you get up there and you and you talk to people, you answer questions, you defend your policy. Uh, there's a lot that's at stake for a lot of people in America right now, especially right now with what the Fed does. And it is incumbent upon the Fed, its responsibility right now, to go forward and really explain it to the American people. This is just yeah. one of, let's just say this, a series of things the Fed has done. Yeah. There are websites now. There's all kinds of things that are out there where the Fed is trying to explain itself because of the particular position it's in, as uh, David Wessel said in his neat book, uh, The Fourth Branch of Government. No, I mean, no doubt this was great, but there is a fine line somewhere along the way. I mean, part of their power is the mystery, the omniscience, the omnipotence. That's I mean, the wrong if part they, of the power. No, well, That's the wrong I part of the power. I mean, you, you know, have... Melissa, I, I think you raise a good point. And, and here's my knowledge of Ben Bernanke speaking here. I think if Ben Bernanke thought that mystery would create better monetary policy, that is exactly the route he would travel. But I think he believes deep down, and from a lot of academic studies, that transparency leads to better outcomes. And I think that's yeah. why he's following See, Mark, his path. Mark, uh, Mark Calabria, the public has the right to know. You know why? It's the public's money. And here's what I want to ask you. Bernanke said in this, uh, in this town forum, whatever it is, he said the Federal Reserve has been putting the pedal to the metal, okay, he did not yeah. mention, however, stabilizing the dollar in your pocketbook or purse. Now, what do you make of this? What is he signaling us? Pedal to the metal. Well, I think he's signaling that monetary policy is going to be especially loose, especially expansionary, as far as the eye can see. And the thing that concerns me is this is a repeat of what we had 2002, 2003, 2004. You know, and I do want to say... You know, I am in favor of greater transparency. What I would have liked to have seen is a dialogue. And I don't think we saw that. I don't think we saw it in his Humphrey Hawkins testimony. I don't think we saw it in terms of his um, you know, I agree. news hour. I agree. I don't I think, think he, has he, yet, he has yet to face a reporter or a, or a panel of people who really know anything about monetary policy. Yeah, and I think that's exactly. been something he sort of ducked. This debate that Mike brings up here, I think, is a good one. Well, the Fed's history here, I think all of that needs yeah. to be on the table and debated. And that's a more true defense of what the Fed but has done. But you know what's going to happen if he keeps doing this public stuff? People are going to show up who know about it, and they yeah. might engage him in a dialogue. I mean, I, I would like to see him. Honestly, the Europeans do this. Why can't the Americans, Mark? After the Federal Open Market Committee policy meeting where rates and money suppliers said, why not hold a news conference and take questions it's, from the it's financial so press? It's so political. It's so beneath him. No, but that's him. what the Europeans I, do. Beneath him. I think he needs to I tell America him. what he wants to do and why. This is where the engagement is. This is where the reason it would be. The reason, Larry, is because the Fed statement speaks for all 19 members. The concern would be that the Fed chairman answering questions would not be speaking for all if 19. The I'm not saying that. 
do it. That's a good excuse. If I'm the saying Europeans that's the excuse. can do it, why can't the Americans do it, Mark? So well, far, Larry, I'm hearing I terrible. So, too, too tawdry. I, I'm too hearing tawdry. terrible but, defenses. But, too tawdry. Not mystifying enough. Speaks for all the people. He's the Fed head, Mark. After that meeting, I, he should go and face the financial press, where experts can cross examine. Show name. I like that well, show, Larry. Larry. I, I, I agree with go. you, but on the other hand, I don't think we should exaggerate. You know, the vast majority of the financial press, except for obviously CNBC, they're going to be softball questions. I mean, do you really expect... We're all going to go. Look Melissa's going to go. Steve's going to go. I'm going to go. We're all shouting at him at gonna, the same time. It'd be so ugly. Oh, it'd be ugly. All right. We're going we're gonna to leave it there. Glad we solved Trish. that.